Thanksgiving to the to the Almighty God, the Master Surgeon. Who removed all those multiple fibroids without cutting them? Because me and you, after cutting without God, it was terrible. Because the womb will sometimes refuses now to. to to, to receive the baby. Praise God. I want to thank God so much. I know some of you also, you have your own testimony. Praise God. And uh, you see, when you know how to program, I even encourage them, I say, look, Brother Ward, it is so good you came with your kid. Your Mami family. Wali, you just come. Come, 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 come with the, your entire family. Come. These people came from Mukono. <coughs> Praise God. Some years back, Uwari came here. He came here with his wife. They wanted to see me. That fellowship in this church for for how long? You want to see me, but you see me for some time. Month, month, three months. And they had come for the last time. So they said, hey, we don't meet the senior pastor. Huh? We will look for another place. It was after how long. You were trying to come so that you can see me. Oh my God. One and a half. Here. Oh Can you imagine these people? Oh, they they came to this church for one and a half years without meeting me in the office. And yet they had a, a problem. And the problem was still children. They had lost uh, during conception two times. Once. Ectopian. Ectopian. And, and, and when eventually they saw me, I said, don't worry, God will bless you with children. God will bless you with children. That day, mommy met them, and mommy said, no, come and see. Papa, come come and, and, see. Come and we prayed. And God has blessed them with these children. So so I want to encourage all of you. This God answers prayer. This God answers prayer. You have seen them. I just want you to stretch your hand and bless Mubala this family. Whatever they need now, let God provide for Mubawe them. Whatever the worry needs, whatever the children need, whatever miracle they need, David, Come. come, 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 come. I had not planned to call them forward. But I, I just, it was because of their testimony. Pray for them. Pray for them. Father, in the name of Jesus, look at a worry. Look at Lydia. Look at their four sons. You have blessed them with four sons. When they had struggled and they had lost the child you had given them. To an ectopian pregnancy. And they were losing hope. But you answer them. You bless them with these four beautiful children. May your mighty hand touch these children. May you bless them with good health. May you prosper, worry in his work and business. May you bless Lydia. Lydia. May you give them peace. Whatever the enemy has stolen from them, now is the time for it to go back. To be restored in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the blessing of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob manifest upon their lives. In the name of Jesus, give the Lord a mighty blessing. Now, I want us also to pray for this uh, family here. Apart from the gift of children, as I was praying for them, I saw that 
God bless Harriet with a lot of money. And because the one that money given in the hands of Harriet is because of him. You know, some women, when they are highly blessed, they say, no, this is mine. This is mine. And they try to become a man in their house. <laughs> No, a woman has a role in a family and a man has a role. You cannot teach them. So stretch your hand and bless them. Let them continue serving faithfully. Let the Lord give them money. Let the Lord remember that sacrifice of 4.5 million for Sajjari. That came on this altar. Let the Lord bless them. Let me bless them. Father bless them. Remember their sacrifice of thanksgiving. May they never lack money. We thank you for the children you have already blessed them with. We thank you for the miracle baby. We thank you for the miracle baby. We thank you for the miracle baby. 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 Thank you we give you honor in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. God bless you so much. Continue serving God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Isn't our God good? Isn't His word working? Hallelujah. Amen. All of you have a testimonies. But the other Out thing is, the Bible tells me, Bible be anxious for nothing. You've heard it? Be anxious for nothing. Mm -hmm. But in everything, in how many things? In everything, everything, by prayer, and supplication no with the thanksgiving no kwe, no kwe baza. let your request be let, let your request be known to God mwagala, and whose report do we believe we shall believe the report of the Lord hallelujah Amen. what the scanning machine found out what the scanner found out the scanner abo aba kenkufu aba kebera that is what I call false evidence appearing real. It is a false evidence appearing real. But when it was committed to the Lord, it had to bow down and disappear. Hallelujah. Amen. Our time is very fast. May I request the choir to step on the pulpit and lead us through worship. Praise the Lord. Amen. Let's all rise up on our feet as we worship the Lord. As we end there, we encourage each one of you to surrender everything to him. Don't cross into the new year with the past. Don't cross into the new year with burdens. Surrender everything to God and let the word of the Lord work in your life. Oh.
Please, without sitting down, without sitting down, standing, I want us, we are going to welcome the first preacher. This lady, I've known her for some time. She has ever preached in our church here some years back. She's doing apostolic work in Uganda here for the last five years. And she's none other than Kelly Jones. Kelly Jones. Let's put our hands together and welcome her. She loves the word. She teaches the word. She teaches the word. Give another hand of praise to the Lord for her. Apostle Kelly. You are most welcome. On this altar. We welcome you and give you our right hand of fellowship because you are the minister of the gospel and because you have decided to love this country because this country belongs to your own Lord who decided to send you to his property to preach the word, to declare the word. These people, there are people here in Uganda whose destiny requires the word from you. Take the direction God wants them to go. You are most welcome. Take this time to speak the heart of God to you. These people, you are most welcome in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, I just love the heart of your father and your mother. You know, during the lockdown, we were feeding people. And we decided to go the way of the kingdom. And give outside of our friends. Give outside of the people we know. Give to people who cannot benefit us. And go after souls. And and your father and mother they actually gave us a seed into that which means that you reap a harvest for the seed that they have sown and people got to eat that could not have eaten otherwise so I've understood something Whenever I come into a church, if I want the word to be received, we should always start to appreciate the mother and the father of the house. And just as you are clapping, I want you to continue to clap and appreciate them. And as you are clapping, I ask, can you appreciate the father? the Son and the Holy Ghost because we worship Him we praise Him we exalt Him and we welcome Him to come in His presence to come in His power to break every yoke today I declare yokes will be broken in Jesus name you can take your seat hallelujah Amen. 
I came to Uganda around five years ago, almost five years ago. Mu Uganda na jamu katimia kaji sewe itan. And I was sent to Mitiana to preach. Era nesala o kusikana bantu kubodi njiri. As I was driving around the countryside, we naringa mvuge moto koko yita mochalo. I saw something. Nenda wanyi shinto. That really confused me. E chanta wula tabula dala. It was like I could see it in the natural. Chali shinto ngo sone chila wano muri wamutonde. But it was really spiritual. I saw fires everywhere white fire everywhere and after some time I came to understand that this fire was the fire of revival what I came to understand was this fire was individuals not one church but the whole country of Uganda I saw the whole nation saved no sick no poor no HIV no witch You'd better understand. That is where God wants us to go. And you'd better understand. The devil is not praising Jesus when it's going to happen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's called the good fight. So I'm going to share what happened when I was praying. Because I was asking God, what is coming? Because I came to understand that this is the harvest time for the saints. Where we've sown according to the flesh, we're going to reap. You know the gossip, the slander, the talk. We're going to reap. Where we've sowed according to the Spirit. In faith, in money, in giving, in love. In provision. We're going to reap. And the reason we sang I surrender. I think we knew I owe. Is the way you end a year or the way you end anything will determine how well you enter the next thing. How you end a relationship. How you end a marriage. How you end a job. How you end a year will determine how well you can enter the next thing. Hallelujah. Amen. You're so quiet. Hallelujah. Amen. So we're talking about the harvest time. God is going to bless us from ways we didn't know or expect. I have a few minutes and I'm a prophetic person. I live my messages. I don't just come up with something I dreamed. I actually have to live it. I have to live it. Let me tell you what happened last week. I've been in Uganda four years and 11 months. And before I came to Uganda, I had a car. And I insured that car five years and 11 months ago. And I, I insured it and it was very expensive. But this week, I got a check from that insurance company from nearly six years ago for $153. They said, they said they had overcharged me. It is only God 
that made them push it right. Almost six years later. And I understood that God is a God of justice. And where people have taken advantage of you. Where people have taken from you. God is sorting the books. He's putting things right. So I declare and decree the things that have been stolen from you, the things that have been taken from you, the things that people don't have rightfully will be released and reported back to you in Jesus' name. I know it's true. Because when I was praying about the church and about Uganda, you can't stay here this long without questions. God, what are we doing? Where are we going? I saw Nindaba. like an open vision of this thing on a string. A weight. And it drops into the church. I'm not a builder. But I understood that this thing that was dropped is called a plumb line. Let me read you some scriptures. I didn't know these things even existed until after I saw that vision. A plumb line you could drop it off the side it's on a string with a weight and when we drop it it shows if things are straight or not it shows if the building and the foundations are good and it's used that things may be realigned. We, we are coming into a year of realignment and restoration. COVID was a wake up call. But the coming season is a season of shaking. We can clap. You know, before I came to Uganda, they said there will be no more business as normal. And they, they prophesied about shaking. And, and we clapped. Until we understood it affected us. Because the shaking begins in you. Hallelujah. Amen. So, Kati, I'm reading Nisoma. Isaiah 16, I, I mean uh, 28, verse 16. Behold, I lay in Zion a stone for a foundation, a tried stone a precious cornerstone a for a sure foundation. Whoever believes in it will not act uh, speedy or hastily. And I will make justice the measuring line and, and righteousness the weight. The hail will sweep away the refuge of lies. And water will expose the hiding place. If we went to First Peter, it says this, in 2.4, coming to him as a living stone, rejected by men but chosen by God and precious. You also as living stones 
are being built up into a spiritual house a holy priesthood to offer spiritual sacrifices to God through Jesus Christ so basically God Jesus is the cornerstone that is the foundation anything that is built on anything else will not be straight. When I build my kingdom, when I promote myself, when I trust in men, when I trust in money, when I trust in things, when storms come, they are not able to stand. And us as living stones become on a limb. So God says he drops righteousness and the weight of it exposes the lies. Jeremiah 17 5 says the heart is deceitfully wicked above all things who can know it meaning often we don't know where our faith is until it's tested the trials we go through are not to finish us but to show us our authority in God to show us we can build on this weight. But you know, sometimes when we build our life, some of the stones we use, some of the people we, we put in our life, they're not so stable. They're not so straight. And we're on a lean. God's coming to expose who your real enemies are and everything in the political realm in the business realm what's really happening in marriages what's really happening in the church God is going to expose it all because he wants to build a kingdom. His kingdom come. His will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. There's no sickness in the kingdom. There's no poverty in the kingdom. There's no deliverance in the kingdom. When the kingdom comes. It is blessing all the time. So there's going to be a shaking. And there's going to be an exposing. But we are not to look at what has been exposed or what is being shaken. For the non-believer, the days ahead are scary. But for the child of God, you're going to know who you are and who your God is. And your faith is going to increase. Your blessing is going to increase. You are going to go from one level to another level to where you know I'm the head and not the tail. I'm the boss and not the knees. You see, Jesus did not come and sacrifice his life. You know, God come to earth as a man. He did not come to sacrifice his life so that you and I could invite him in so he could understand what disappointment felt like. He did not live and die and come to live in us because he wanted to know what failure felt like. He did not come to live in us 
Because he wanted to know what it is to fail. He came, paid the price of a sickness and death to live in us, to take your limited life, to take your limited prayer and connect you to an unlimited God. And when you understand that every time you get a breakthrough, every time you get a miracle, you are giving him his full reward. You are thanking him for what he paid for. So you don't need to beg for it. You actually need to expect it. In the coming season, miracles will be your portion. Favor will be your portion. Blessing will be your portion. You will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. You will walk into a marketplace. Devils must leave. Because you are put on earth. In Genesis it says, Be fruitful. Multiply. Take dominion. Africa knows how to multiply. But now, God is teaching you to take dominion. You don't have to be afraid. The days ahead are going to be glorious. Hallelujah. Amen. I want to keep to my time. So I bless you all and praise you. Amen. I'm coming at someone who's eighteen. Apostle Kelly, God bless you so much. You see. She has really kept the time. Because <laughs> Can we clap for, to, to, for, for her again? You see, because of the time and the testimonies, her preaching time was reduced to 20 minutes, and she kept <laughs> Some of you will say, oh, she's a muzungu. <laughs> they keep time. <laughs> but we must learn to keep time. <laughs> because God is a God of time. <laughs> How many of you have been blessed? Amen. Amen. She has spoken very important prophecies. Your miracles. The time for your miracles have come. I don't know what you need from God. But I believe even as she was speaking. Someone was receiving his miracle. Give the Lord a mighty hand the Where's Pastor Ben. Pastor ben, ben, you are the one running the program. The choir is coming back because we are going to receive the second word. Yes, can the choir come back so that we can receive the, the second word? Those ones who really want to have uh, this word will be on, uh, on, on uh, will be posted on your WhatsApp, but if you want a copy. Talk Fred. Fred will get for you one. Even what uh, Apostle Kelly has just shared. No more. Amen. Amen.
Let's rise up on our feet and praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. In a song that says Onaga, that the word of God is Hallelujah. working for our good. Amen. Amen.
you're wonderful, you're marvelous. Father, we bless you. You've got times. You have seasons in your hands. You got times and seasons in your hands. You call for light out of darkness. You don't need a man to be the God you are. And you have chosen to call me your own. You got times and seasons in your hands. Oh God, you call for light out of darkness. You don't need a man to be the God you are. And you have chosen to call me where the will of God is done. And that spiritual realm or dominion has the capacity to affect the physical realm. 
So God's kingdom is God's rule. Kati obaka wa kuba katonda. Bwe mfuzi wa katonda mlamu wa fe. Mwangali ya fe. In our situation. Mbena ya fe. We desire Jesus stop the disciples that pray that the kingdom might come. Yes, ya ngamba wa igizo anti musamo wa kama kawe with Jane. Let the government of God be seen. Some of you were here when uh, Yenje and his wife was testifying. Of the miracle of the intervention. Where the doctor said without surgery forget. They saw seven and then they stopped. They said multiple. When they went back for a scan, we had to pay. Ah, ten percent is also two point five million. Oh, because they were not able to They found that all those fibroids had disappeared. And instead, there was a baby there. Ah, tenga, ah, ten which found his baby had moved to the one one. What happened was the kingdom of God manifested. The life of the Lord. The kingdom. The kingdom. Oh, And Jesus said, yes, "When I cast out demons, by the finger of God, meaning the Holy Spirit, then the kingdom of God has come." That's why, as we sing, sing from your heart. Your heart. That let the kingdom of God come. Come in your business. Come in your marriage. Come in your life. Come in your service for the Lord. Come in the lives of your children. Let the government of God manifest. Let the rule of God manifest. The kingdom of God is not just inside the church. The kingdom of God must touch. The church is sent to, to advance the kingdom. Kingdom. In every area of life, in the society, the kingdom must be seen in the national economy. The kingdom must be seen in education. The kingdom must be seen in the family. The kingdom must be seen in the family. The kingdom must be seen in the kingdom must be seen in the family. The kingdom must be seen in the family. The kingdom must be seen in the family. Praise God. The kingdom must be seen in politics and government. Everywhere. Jesus wants you to take the government there. Yes, my yengala o tuale o bukulembe zobo fuzi e yo. Fire, take us briefly through that song. To tuale mo bufuzi e muluyi mo. God wants to do something big in your life. Katunda nyacha yengala o kolechi ni nyombula mo. He wants to do something big. Now that you have come, something will happen in you. The kingdom must manifest. We are testimonies here. We must manifest the kingdom. We are testimonies here. 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 Let your kingdom come. Amen, amen. Yes, Lord, we your will will be done. Amen, amen. Yes, Lord, let your kingdom come. Amen, amen. In my life today. Amen, amen. Let your kingdom come. Amen, amen. In your will be done. Amen, amen.
take your seats. Take your seats. Mutune mutebe zamwe. Let his kingdom come. Let his kingdom truly come. Let it manifest in your life. Yes. Praise God. The year 2020 is the year the year 2022. How many of you were here when I was sharing the prophetic word on the 19th? How many of you were not there? It was on the 12th, yeah. You are not here. Let me see you. There are quite a number of you were not there. But let me tell you what I shared was the judgment that God caused to fall upon three kings that were of the line of David's house. He warned them for 20 years to change. They could not change. He had already judged the northern kingdom of Israel. He had already judged the northern kingdom in Samaria, in Samaria and took them away into exile through the hand of the Assyrian king. They were totally scattered, ten tribes. And historically, they are known as the ten lost tribes. Of course, God returned them after after Second World War is when they began to come back. The northern kingdom was dispersed 135 years before. Judah, the southern kingdom was judged. Judah, so the northern kingdom was carried away with the ten tribes into exile. Do you know the reason? It was idolatry. Replacing God with many other things. And they had trampled on justice. And the people were crying. And God said, okay, it's enough. And they were carried away. Then he came to Judah. Judah. Because he had given a promise, he had given a big promise to David. And that promise is connected to you, the church people. Connected to the entire earth because the entire world because it has a messianic promise embedded in it. The savior of the world, the of the world was to come. To that. I want you to station there. And remain there. A bit, a bit. Yes, that distance. Praise God. Come And don't move until I tell you stay there. <laughs> Praise God. Come Clap for her. This lady is another person. God will bless her. Whether it rains, whether they say, she Katonda. I'm telling you the truth. So there's no way she can miss on the best of that, that she, cannot. she cannot miss it. Praise God. You wait and see, even our marriage will be unique. <laughs> Amen. So shall it be in Jesus' name. So, Kati. he warned now Judah. Nala Judah. Based in Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the southern kingdom of Judah. You people turn to God. I've put you on the throne so that you govern for me. And let my will be done and bless my people. So that the poor can feel safe. But you have not listened. And so God sent a zekel to them and said look 
I'm going to remove you people. I made a promise to David I'm not going to break that promise but you this, are no you longer ruling statement. for me. You are no longer doing like David was doing. I'm sweeping you out. He sent Ezekiel. He sent Jeremiah. He sent Isaiah. He sent many other minor prophets. They never listened. Sometimes people tend to make God appear so cruel in the Old Testament. No, he's full of judgment. Judgment is judgment. He even declared himself to Moses. How, how long suffering he is. These people never listened. Then he gave them the prophetic word. He sent Ezekiel. He said Ezekiel. Go and tell these people this word. And that's the word God has given us. For 2022. And I asked him, I said, why? And he told me clearly that I'm going to execute judgment. And I will tell you why. He's going to do it. There's a reason why God judges. When he wants to restore back, his plan, his plan to prevail, sometimes he comes with judgment. And so I want us to look at that word which he has given you and which makes this 2022 a very unique year for you for the entire church worldwide Ezekiel 21 verse 26 to 27 Thus says the Lord God Remove the diadem and take off the crown. This shall not be the same. Exalt him that is low. And abase him that is high. I will overturn. Overturn. Overturn it. And it shall be no more. Until it comes who's right it is. And I will give it. Praise God. Give the Lord a mighty hand of praise. Father, open up the heart of every person to receive this word. Open the heart to so open the heart to so this word. Open the now, in the New International Readers Version, this is what verse 26 says. The Lord and King says, I want you to mark that the Lord and King take off that tabard, remove your crown. This will not be as they were in the past. Those who are not important will be honored. And those who are honored will be brought down. Those who are proud. You know what the proud do? They become their own God and they do contrary to what God wants. He says those things are not going to be the same. Now, when this prophecy was given to the house of David, the first king to be overthrown. Who were rebellious. Who did not care about justice. Who were corrupt. 
Together with all his officials. The corruption and the wickedness was so much that we call Ezekiel. That you go through all the street of Jerusalem. If you find one person who deals truthfully. One, one, I will forgive that city. Meaning that, that things were so bad that not even one could be formed. So the judgment came. The first overthrow. Was the Babylonians came and attacked Jerusalem. It ended with the death of Joachim. His son Joachim again sat on the throne. The king of Babylon again came and attacked it. Carried away some people. And, 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 and put in place. A person called Jedekiah. Jedekia. Who was the brother of the father of, of Joachim. Now, this man was killed. The Babylonians now came and carried away everybody. And the prophecy was fulfilled. They were overthrown as a result of God's judgment. Now, this is what God is telling you. That in 2022, I'm going to overthrow whatever has been standing on the way of my church. I'm going to overthrow them. For those who are seeking Him, those who are in His will. People like you. If you are not in his will, get back to his will. I will overthrow whatever has stood on their way for the last 20 years. He says. Agamba. Things are not going to remain the same. Are you listening? Mourida. Some of you, you are so used to the oh. devil messing around with you that you have accepted it as a normal thing. But God is saying that 2022 is not going to remain the same for you. Something is happening right now. Let me tell you, church, the word is powerful. Come, Melody, come here. Come. Come, Melody. Come. This wonderful little girl here, she's a very bright girl. She's now one of our babies. She's our my sister's daughter. Now when she came to stay with us. You know, I want to tell you that God is so powerful. We realize that there was some spirit that attacked this child. Even from my grandmother where she was. My, my, my sister, she was living with her auntie. She was saying she was settled restless. And they noticed that there was something wrong. But when I was preaching about the purpose of salvation. She was sitting in the chair there. And I was quoting the scripture that says God in his love translated us from the kingdom of Satan 
into the kingdom of his dear son. When I mentioned that word, the child fell off from the chair. They put her back. When I mentioned it again, she she fell off. And we went back home. The following day, our face had changed completely. When I went to the village recently, my mother said, This child is different. She's not like she used to be. Everyone began to comment. She was good, she was good, she was, good. She was nice, and everyone began to Nga love her. That's the power of the word. That's why I was saying. As Apostle Kelly was preaching, something was happening. As I'm talking now, preaching the word concerning the kingdom of God, something is breaking from your life. Something is breaking. Don't take the word. Uh, 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 don't take the word lightly. We were here in deliverance service, and some of you were here. You heard me speak it many times. That God was dealing with fibroids in someone's womb. God is dealing with fibroids in someone's womb. God. And I knew God was working. Are you hearing me? She was here. And she was here. And she was here. Only for the medical fibrils to be gone with the surgical knife of the Holy Ghost. You can imagine what Harriet said. That where the baby was supposed to sit, there were three fibroids sitting there. there were, and then others were sitting at the mouth of the tube. In fact, Mazima. The devil that engineered that attack went back and sat and was very confident. But God has messed them up. Whatever sat on your way, God is messing them up. Right Praise God. Come on, Church, the word is powerful. It's saying things will not be as they were in the past. Your job will not be the way they, are, they were in the past. Your business will not remain the way they were. Your marriage will not remain the way they were. Your ministry will not remain the way we were Why? Watch. Because the overthrow has come. Yeah. Whatever has entered the word of God from fulfilled in your life, God is judging them. I will overturn and overturn and overturn until what belongs to you is put back into your hand. What belongs to the church was put back in the hands of the church. Praise God. And do you know why God is bringing judgment from, from 2022? the kind of judgment that the world has not seen before which should not scare you because he's the judge but when people repent the merciful God he will not bring about the judgment but you see as someone said that, that when the time for repent, given for repentance is over and you don't act, judgment, judgment follows. Follows. 
the reason for revival is re, for, for judgment is revival. Ensongi yokusala omusango kudda bujja okudobuja. And what is revival? Atokudobuja chechi. What is revival? Okudobuja chechi. An improvement in the condition. Enongo seleza mumenda mumani. In the fortune. Mumikisa mubintwe bironje. Someone or something. Ebyo muntu oba muchintu. It's a spiritual renewal. Kuziwa bujjo komoyo. It's a revitalization. It's a awakening. Kuza bujja kugolokoka. Because God wants to bring an improvement. God wants to give you back strength. God wants to bring improvements on your fortune. What is the fortune? Your riches, your wealth, your prosperity. Sometimes church people talk about revival without even touching the issue of finance and the revival of this end time is going to be different from the past revival because the requirements are quite different and money will be a key thing in it because we are in a digital age we are in a digital age we are in a dot com age we are in a dot com age and that's why yes, you your fortunes your finances must improve let me tell you the degree to which you will enjoy what Christ purchased for you on the cross through his death and resurrection depends on the degree of your boldness to claim it. There are some believers who fear to claim what is and then they cannot see it. Where you need a miracle, claim it. Where you need money, claim it. Where you need money, Where you need money, claim it. Where you need money, claim it. Where you need money, you need now in, in as far as resources are concerned, more you need money, 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 he says, God, I am, use me and what I have. Tell your neighbor, you don't need what is enough for yourself only. You need more than enough. Because if you, do, you, have, you don't have more than enough, what will you support with the orphans? What do you give for the gospel? What do you feed with the, the hungry? How will you clothe? Those who are clothed without, without clothing. Praise God. Because of revival. Before revival comes, it is in God's nature always to remove the obstacle on the way of revival. And and it it removes them judgment. It is saying, Look, I want improvement to happen in your life. The agenda of the church must be fulfilled. The season the has come. You got us a prophetic destiny. The church one, has a prophetic destiny. And we thank God for being in Uganda. Because God will use this nation mightily. Can I hear a louder man? God will use you mightily. Some of you are quiet. I'm saying God will use you mightily. The other day we were, I will phone the sister. Uh, Pastor Florence preaching in the in the in the market square there. 
but uh, our voice was not could not go far because we have only one mobile preaching machine here we need to buy for our one uh, Balondemu is around? No, he's buying there. Balondemu, wali alimabege. Pastor Ken, how much is that mobile machine? Misumba Ken, yechu meche chitambu zibwa cha sente meka. Five hundred thousand. Mitwa la tani ja Uganda. Pastor Florence, come here. Omisumba Florence, jangwa. Because we want to make things move. Banga tuanga latu ganye vintu vitambule. I want to do a very quick. Fundraising pledge right now. Can I see your hand? We are going to buy, they said it's 500,000. We buy for her. A machine for preaching in the market there. Can I see your hand? How much? 30,000. Clap for it. 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 Kati wabla yemi tuwa la na musambu. Aha. Ten thousand. Aha. Tuwa la gomo. Write like a computer, Edina. Wani kanga kari mage zinyabo Edina. Ten thousand. So we have four sixty. Tuwa lo katu zayi mi tuwa la mukambu. Twenty thousand from Apostle Kelly. Tuwa lo evili okuveli omtu meke. Twenty thousand. Ten thousand from buying you. Now we are remaining with what? Atis gaza esinte meka. Oh, where is Chris? Chris. Be doing for us. 440. Okay, be doing for us a calculation. 440. Uh huh. 100,000. From uh, Elder Jasper. Mm -hmm. So it is now free what? She must preach the gospel. Uh huh. There's someone there. Another person. Omulala. Let me tell you, this is a time for great miracles. Yes. Is that Sister Koita? Oh yes. How much? Fifty thousand. God bless you so much. Now we have three hundred and what? Eh? Two ninety now. Uh -huh. Yes. There's something there with the, with the, with the, with the Douglas. Is that Douglas? Yes, Douglas has given something there. Douglas, I know God bless you abundantly. Your borders, whoever is giving, their borders are being enlarged right now. Their borders are being enlarged. I'm telling you the truth. Tell us what, what is remaining. 20,000. 100 from angels. Come your covering, angels. That is now 200 and what? 100. 170. Uh -huh. There's someone from buying there. 30. This 30. Remaining 140. Uh -huh. There's someone there. Nyomi is there. Oh, 30,000 from Nyomi. Uh -huh. 110 now. Uh -huh. 20,000. 5,000. God I have 5,000. 105. 10,000. Aha. 90 what? 5. 95 remains. There's someone by there. Molly, how much? 10. Aha. 10,000. 85 remaining. God will talk to someone. Mukama jakuwa ako guayegera na e. Jakuni ita omna na nechtundu. Aha. Amas? Five. Fifteen. Mutoa lo gumu nechtundu. Sister, fifteen, fifteen. Another ten is here. Wali yano mutoa lo wano mulala. Fifty now remain. Katwa sgade mutoa le tano. Chris. Chris has finalized the fifty. Chris, he has finalized it. If there's a bonus, no problem. You can take your seat. Your machine is there. Your machine is there. Your machine is there. Your machine is there. Praise God. Amen. After. 
Praise God. We must declare the kingdom. The government of God wants to be established in the lives of people. Who wants to see his influence in the heart of man? Praise God. Now, look at the second verse. Verse 3. I was telling you that when God wants to bring a revival, He brings judgment. To do surgery on the things that stand on the way. Look at the prophecy gave about judgment and the revival of Abraham's descendants. About judgment that was, he was bringing on the people. And then what he intended to do with the children of Abraham. Because his, his purpose was to use the children of Abraham, the descendants of Abraham, to bring revival in the world. Spiritual spiritual revival. So he no, he, God brings judgment before revival. Before he bring, begins to improve the every area of lives of the people he cares about. Genesis 15 verse 12 to 16. That, was, that, that is when Abraham, God made a covenant with Abraham. A covenant initiated by, by God himself. Listen to what the Bible says. Here from New Living Translation. Genesis 15 verse 12 to 16. As the sun was going down, Abraham fell into a deep sleep and a terrifying darkness came down over him. Then the Lord said to Abraham, you can be sure that your descendant will be strangers in a foreign land where they will be oppressed as slaves for 400 years. But I will punish the nation that enslaves them. And in the end, they will come away with great wealth. As for you, you will die in peace. And be buried at a ripe old age. After four generations, your descendants will return here to this land. For the sins of the Amorites do not yet warrant their destruction. Church, look at this. God now gives Abraham a prophecy. Tells Abraham about the future. He made a covenant with Abraham. Because of this covenant, I'm not going to allow people to mess freely with your children. Yes, they will be enslaved. But I will bring them out and give them this land which I have already given you. But the people who live in this land, I have to remove them by judgment for your children to come and take this promised land where they will display the entire world how I deal with humanity how they, how, how, how they will show the world how they will serve me as priests and kings as a special I will use them to demonstrate my government but now these people their sins are not yet enough for, they, I don't have yet 
reason enough to join. Their sins are not yet full. You see, God allows you, gives you room to change. If you don't change, then you will keep topping up your sins. Until as the Bible believe. says it, it catches up with you. When it, is, when it catches, that term simply means judgment will fall. Yes, you can change your sins. He says, I'm waiting for their sins to be full, then I will destroy them in judgment. Musangu. And then the revival. The revival will come to the former canon. Revival will come to the former canon. Let me tell you, there are 21 civilizations that has come, and we are, I think we are the 21st civilization that is existing now. I don't know whether I remember it well, but. Uh, 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 you, you, are, you are the people educating our children. Civilization, when you begin to count from, from the different ages, the stone age, the this, the age, age, and all of them, they have collapsed at, at the height of wickedness, corruption. When they think they are so great and they become so corrupt and then they come down. So God is saying that I will come and time comes when he must judge. So that's why judgment must fall. So that revival can come. The forces that stood on the way of revival will be removed. Praise God. Now, look at what happened in Egypt when the time came. Exodus 12 of 12. On this, that same night, I will pass through Egypt and strike down every firstborn, both men and animals, and I will bring judgment on, on all the gods of Egypt. All the gods gods. Before God's people left, Egypt, God told Joshua, I mean, Moses, to tell them Musa. that I'm going to pass judgment on all the, the gods of Egypt. All. He was preparing the descendants of Abraham to come out and bring out revival. Come Abraham out of Egypt. Exodus 12, 29. And at midnight the Lord struck down all the firstborn in Egypt from the firstborn of Pharaoh who sat on the throne the firstborn of the prisoner who was in the dungeon and the firstborn of all the livestock as well judgment came why? because the time had come for God's people to be revived for a great spiritual awakening for the other nations who are watching to be struck by the power of the awesome God. During the night, listen, Pharaoh summoned Moses and Aaron and said, Up, leave my people. You are the Israelites. Go, worship the Lord as you have requested. Take your flocks and have As you say, and go. And also bless me. I love that part. I love that part. When God struck Egypt, Pharaoh sent for Moses, come, come, come. Leave, leave, go, 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 go. Mugende, mugende, mugende. Go. Mugende. But before you go, bless me. 
Ninga temuna gina mpongsa. <laughs> you people. Bantumwe. Church people. Don't take the blessing for granted. You need to understand what you carry. Imagine Pharaoh understood it. Even when Jacob came to Egypt during Joseph's time, we are told that he prayed but for Pharaoh and blessed him. Yes, sir, he he just look at that. You carry the blessing. You carry the blessing. Don't begin to look at men to bless you. Let that blessing that you carry manifest. Exodus 12, verse 35 to 36. Listen to this. The Israelites did as Moses instructed and asked the Egyptians for articles of silver and gold. And, and, for and the Lord had made the Egyptians favorably disposed towards the people. And they gave them what they asked for. So they plundered the Egyptians. They carried away the wealth of the Egyptians. As God begins to judge his enemies. And he begins to promote you. Because 2022 is the year of judgment for God's enemies. And the promotion of his people. As God begins to do that. Get ready. We take it, take it. Get ready to see the blessing of wealth coming to you. We take it, kula mo mukisa go gaganga go jami kono jo. Get ready. Ida we take it. To work what you have, the way you have never worked before. O kola nga we take kola nga ko. Get ready to see what you have not seen before. We take it, kula mo biyo chala wanga ko. Get ready to discover opportunities that you have never discovered. We take it, kuku zule miya ganye mixa biyo chala wanga ko. All those opportunities, all those opportunities of the eyes, is meant to make you see. See, to make you see what can make you become very industrious. Do you know why Moses told them to ask for gold and silver? They were going into the promised land. They needed the money there. But the first reason they wanted the money for was for worshiping. The building of the tabernacle. The building of the tabernacle. And now you see God's tabernacle. tabernacle are his own people. The Holy Spirit dwells in them, not only the building now. For improving your life. For the revival, whatever resources are required. For the revival to be successful. God will provide those resources. Praise God. Now look at the news of the revival. It is shook. Nation. Even today, there are people who are afraid of the church. The, the satanic world is afraid of the church. There are different kinds of leaders and religious leaders who are afraid of the church. There are political systems that are afraid of the church. But I want to tell you this. They cannot stop what God is about to do. They cannot stop what God is to Look at Numbers 22, verse 4 to 7. A country called Moab had about the testimony of what God did in Egypt. And all the nations that was in Canaan began to shake. And if I were taken place, and the people of God coming out of Egypt were advancing and coming with a lot of kingdom power and authority. The cloud was going before them and the fire by night. The Holy Ghost was in their midst. Praise God. Just look at this. 
the Moabites said to the elders of Midian, the Midian, Midian. listen carefully, listen, everybody, listen, and stop moving. Praise God. Little kids, sit down. Uh, sit down, all of you, and listen to the word. The Moabites said to the elders of the Midian, this horde, meaning the Israelites who have come out of Egypt, the elders gathered and said, this group of people, they call them hordes like as if they were animals. This horde is going to lick up everything around us. As an ox licks up the grass of the field. So Balak, son of Zippo, who was Zippo, the king of Moab at that time, sent messengers to Simon Balaam, who was at Pithor, he was a prophet, near the river, in his native land. Balak said, a people has come out of Egypt, they cover the face of the land, and have settled next to me. Now come and put a curse on these people, because they are too powerful for me. Perhaps then I will be able to defeat them and drive them out of the country. For I know that those you bless are blessed and those you curse are cursed. You need to realize why people put spells, witchcraft powers, and send it against other people. When they realize that they cannot stop your rising, your progress, your promotion, after promotion, they go for witchcraft. They invoke forces from the evil world to come so and attack. So they summoned a prophet come and Nabi. cast these people for us. Balak was a king. He said, Balak yali kabaka. These people are too powerful. I cannot handle them. That's why they go to the witch doctor to scatter the marriage. I don't sleep when I see them up in their marriage. You have something here. You put a curse on them. That's what they do. When I see his business grow, I feel like dying. You have something here. Let me let it scatter that business. Others use falsehood. False report. They go and accuse you falsely. So that they will be gathered at you. But listen, God is saying it will not happen for you. God is going to judge them. Now, you look at what happened. Balaam failed to cast the blessed of God. In 2022, you are uncastable. Nobody can cast you to die. Death is not your portion. Luck is not your portion. Sickness is not your portion. In the name of Jesus. Listen. Numbers 23 verse 18 and 24. Then he uttered his oracle. Do you know what, what Balak did to, for Balaam? He said, Balaam, you come and cast for me these people. Me, I'm going to give you enough money. I will reward you handsomely. In fact, Balaam told him, he said, even if you, you fit all the wealth fill in your palace, you give them to me. There's nothing I can say apart from what he says. He has already told me not to come with you. 
But I've decided to come. But what is what good is my coming? My coming will not change anything. Whatever people will do against you, inspired by the devil, will not change what God is about to do. You see, the purpose for the judgment of God is revival. Revival came out of Egypt. More saw it, more trembled. More trembled. Because a kingdom had come. Now, it took more. Can you imagine that this man offered a sacrifice of uh, 21 bulls on 21 altars? 21 bulls, 21 But each time, what the man spoke, he could not cast, instead he was blessing Israel. Numbers 23. Okubala abiri musatu. Verse 18 to 24. Kumi na muna na abiri munya. God will turn their curses into blessings. Ebi kodi wabi abe katona na bifula mo musa. Then he uttered this oracle. Kacha unayogere itgambo chini. Arise, Bala, and listen. Goloko ka Bala ki. Hear me, son of Zippo. Puli la gwe mtamani wa Zippo li. Now this is the prophet now telling Balak, you get up. And oh, listen, to me. listen to me, the prophet. God is not a man that he should lie. No, a son of man that he should change his mind. Does he speak and then not act? Does he promise and not fulfill? Because you know why the man spoke this. He said, he said, now you failed to cast them from here. Let me take me you to me. another part of the mountain. And let me put, set up seven altars. Let, let me sacrifice on them and come. And cast them for me. Then the man would not cast them. He did it three times. Until the man of God said, the, the prophet said, no, don't disturb yourself. God is not a man who can be bribed. I want to tell you, whoever will bribe people to kill you, after now, will fail miserably. I'm telling you, because God Men can be bribed. That's why they go to witch doctors to destroy your children. But with God, who watches over you, they will waste their money. Because I have received a command to bless. He has blessed and I cannot change. Because you are in Christ. You are the seed of Abraham. You are blessed and no we can change it. You are blessed and no demon from your village will change it. What followed your people from their foundation? They are too late to get you. They are too late to stop your children. They are too late to stop your business. They are too late to scatter your marriage. God has blessed you and nobody will change you. Verse 21. Balaam continued. Balaam again a mask. No misfortune is seen in Jacob. No misery observed in Israel. Telling God is with them. The son of the king is among them. One day I went with my wife somewhere. And because she has a prophetic spirit, she didn't want to go. And 
And when we reached there, in fact, because me, I love people. And sometimes I don't want to disappoint them. I want to encourage them. Because they, are, they, are, they were old friends. <laughs> so they kept calling me, come and visit. I said, no, my wife is going. She said, but I don't want to go. But because then I asked, I'd ask her to go now, she had to follow me. <laughs> then we met someone there. And then we Who told me, and she was there sitting there, I see something very terrible happening to your wife. <laughs> and I said, Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Something that is killing her. As I was reading this, I remember that. And Balaam, Balak. That I don't see any misfortune in Jacob. I said, no, there's no misfortune that will strike my wife. There's no misfortune that will visit us. Because we are not on our own. There is someone with us. Our king is with us. You see. Balak wanted to see misfortune. Balak he wanted to hear. Balak said, look, I see them scattered, I see them defeated, I see them going nowhere. But instead, Balak told him and said, Balak no misfortune is seen in Jacob. He was able to see into the spirit realm. No misery observed in Israel. The Lord their God is with them. The Lord their God is with them. Some of you are used to misery. Misery, misery in your marriages. You are used to misery. God is saying there's no misery. No misery seen in you. No misery seen in you. No misery seen in you. That man that acts like a beast, God is going to deal with him. God will not kill him, but God will discipline him. <laughs> and God will save him. God will change him. And there are women, of course, who torture their husbands. And there are husbands who are, who are used to living in misery. They run away from home. They stay, they stay away until they come when the woman is asleep. Because she talks and quarrels like a radio. <laughs> and there are God is saying that in 2022 there shall be no misery. Yes, <laughs> No misery is observed. <laughs> the Lord their God is with them. The shout of the king is among them. God brought them out of Egypt. They have the strength of a wild horse. You have the strength of the Holy Ghost. There's no sorcery against Jacob. No divination against Israel. It will now be said of Jacob and of Israel. See what God has See what God has done. No witchcraft will prevail against you. Some of you, you have been fearing witchcraft a lot. But the revival is coming because God wants to make you a testimony. God shall overthrow every form of witchcraft. Pastor, they're attacking me with witchcraft. Pastor, they're attacking me. There are people who are running to me every week. In fear of witchcraft. 
God is saying no divination will prevail against oh. him. Look at that. The, the, uh, you see, Olaba. these people were traveling with their king. When, when the three kings that sat on the throne of David was over, they were overthrown. Even when the king of Persia, Cyrus, came and released the exiles to go back and rebuild Jerusalem. The monarchy was not returned. Only a governor sat there in Jerusalem. A governor, not a king. Because God has said, I'm going to remove all of them and completely until the time comes when the real king comes, the real owner comes, and I'm going to give it to him. I'll give the government the throne back to you. When Mary conceived, she was told that this child you are carrying, you will name him Jesus because he will save his people. And the Lord Almighty will give back the throne of the, his father David back to him. And Jesus came and the kingdom was given back to him. Yeah. and he came and announced it he announced it in Mark 1 14 to 15 now after that John was put in prison Jesus, Jesus came to Galilee preaching the gospel of the kingdom and saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand repent and believe the gospel in fact, in New Living Translation, <inaudible> says, later on, after John was arrested, Jesus went into Galilee. <inaudible> when he preached God's good news, <inaudible> the gospel, that, that the time promised by God has come at last. Come at last. Come at last, he announced. The kingdom of God is near. Repent of your sins and believe the good news. <inaudible> Sorry, the government of God the government of God, the government of God, has come. Jesus, Jesus announced that government. And that government is here. It's the door into that government. Praise God. It's the door. And before he left, listen to what he's saying. Listen. Church, Listen. He told them, said, look, if you please the Father to to give you the kingdom. Luke 12, verse 32. This is what Jesus said. Fear not, little flock. For it is your Father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom to give you the government look at that it, it pleased the father it, it delighted him it thrilled the almighty God that you should possess the kingdom look at that so after when Jesus came yes, we and he left the kingdom of God he ushered you into it he left the kingdom in your hand you are ruling for him on earth here. Is the door into that kingdom. He paid a price that can bring people who accept into that kingdom and they shall be through service in that kingdom. Praise God. You see when Balaam, you know when Balaam spoke to 
told Balak. He said, I don't see any misery. I don't see any misfortune with this. Because the, the, the king is among them. I can hear the shout of the king. Church, you understand what this means. And, 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 and let me tell you those fellows they were caretakers of the kingdom they were just caretakers the house of David was caretaker but Jesus your Lord and Savior is the actual king the father has committed the kingdom into his heart and he has sent you he has sent you on his behalf here on earth so that the kingdom of God can be restored in the lives of every human being. So the point is this evil cannot defeat you because the shout of the king is among them. Jesus is seated here. Yes, what to Jesus is seated here. Yes, what to Jesus is in your heart. Yes, what There's no room for misfortune in your life. There's no room for misery brought by the devil in your life. The degree to which you lay joy what Christ purchased for you through his death and resurrection depends on the degree of your boldness there are certain things I have refused to accept them which the devil forces on people Satan and poverty is one of them. Jesus cannot become poor on the cross. Yes, in order to make me rich. And then accept poverty. In my mind. Because when you accept it in your mind, it will manifest in your life. I've refused it. And every member of this church every person connected with us must refuse it. It does not matter how many bags of dollars is given to you. If you have a poverty mentality it is a matter of time. You will be a pauper. And let me tell you the scripture says that there are four things three Things that causes the, this earth to tremble, to shake with fear. The earth to shake with fear. And one of them is a poor man who becomes a king. Because then the earth knows trouble has come. The poor man in the mind. Doesn't know where he's going. Doesn't know what God is offering him. Doesn't know what was purchased for him. And has a, 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 a decided to resign Era, in the situation they find themselves in. The trembles. Of course, another one is a woman who takes over the husband. Uh, the, 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 the husband of the, 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 the husband of the mistress. I mean, yes, of our mistress. The earth also trembles against that. Kind of That's why don't, when you go to work somewhere, don't steal the, your boss. If your boss is a woman, don't steal your boss's husband. Yes, the earth will not make you settle. Praise God. Look at what Jesus said. This is our last scripture now. 
look at this. The kingdom must be advanced in kingdom authority and power. That's why they say glory belongs to our God. Our power belongs to our God. Honor belongs to our God. The kingdom. The kingdom has authority, the kingdom has power. Matthew 28, verse 18 to 20. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven yes, and and on earth has been given, given to me. To me. Boom, pain, Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And teaching them to obey everything I've commanded you. And surely, I'm with you always. The very end of the age. The King is in your midst. Have you heard the words of Jesus? He says, I'm with you. At the very end of the age, all authority in heaven and on earth has given to, to him. And now he says, you ask church, ask those who have believed in me, ask my disciples, go in that authority. Go in that power. Praise God. Go in that power. The season for revival has come. The season for God to overthrow whatever stood on the way. Of that revival has come. God has decided to bless you. Let me tell you, and nothing will stop it. Listen, church. There are certain things that will never change. There are situations that will never change. And, and every believer will meet it in life. Every man, every woman will meet it in life. Even Cyrus, who did not know God, God acted to bring change. There are things that will never change in your life until God comes. One way into it, the choker, Mulamo, Octusanga Catona say, Nasula wants a mere Javis of Wanga Vida Visuambulamo. And that's why it is Hungaluachi, God is coming, Catunda Jan, to overturn a Sula of Wanke. That anointing has been released. A Maftago Gasmolo Dwa. I said that anointing has been released. Nami Maftago Gasmolo Dwa. Can you unveil that prophetic word? To Zungu Rile, Chigamichi Chobunabi. Let's stand up. So whatever must break shall break. Wait, 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 wait. I've not told you yet. You stand there if you're the one. But Pastor Awuku, you go stand there and, and, and pull that. Listen. You are entering. In fact, we are in that season because the presence of God is here. Choir, can you take us through that song? Let your kingdom come. Amen and amen. amen. Let the, your kingdom come. Let your kingdom come. 2022 will you see a manifestation of the kingdom of God like we have never seen let me hear a bigger man for that. Before we unveil the word, you make sure that 
Your crossover seed is there. Drop it in the basket. Mm-hmm. And we'll start with this group here in the middle, then the tent, and then the upper part. As the choir ministers. Let me pray for you. This is the time for you to dismantle whatever yokes by faith and prophetically bring to another one there and then the other one get your prophetic crossover seed talk to the Lord about your financial need talk to the Lord about your life whatever it is And if God speaks to you and that you give a particular amount, don't hold back. It means your miracle is very near. Very near. Mm. Let me pray for you. Because once God is with you, you have everything. Father, in the name of Jesus, as your people give their crossover seed, as they give their tithes, as they give their offering, whatever else they'll be giving, Father, remember them and let the prophetic word manifest powerfully in their life. Let them receive their miracles. Let them receive direction. Let their eyes open for them to see what you have placed before them, the opportunities, let favor rest on them, let healing come upon them, let deliverance take place in their life, let whatever must break bread, let whatever must be given to them be given, let the forces of hell be overturned, so that what belongs to them is given back to them, in this city and beyond the borders of this city, within the borders of Uganda, beyond the borders of Uganda, in the mighty name of Jesus, Amen, quiet, take us through that song, ask the middle party first, give them the tent, okay, you come according to the line, yeah, come, come and give your prophet, cross over seat,
I'm going to count one up to seven. And I will declare different things according to what we have heard in the scripture. Because the kingdom came 2,000 years ago. And God is just reminding us through this prophet that what are you people doing? What are you doing? You have the government in your heart. That must change. That should bring the will of God to bear in the lives of people. Can I see your hand that if you are saying that I want to become from now on I will be a very serious person with the king. This is a joy. I want to see you more in the services here. Because Be miracles. miracles must happen in your home. Praise God. We are going to come. Yes. And you know, I have I'm going to count one up to seven. When I count the seven, Pastor, ben, you will pull the string for us. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Are you for one God. One God. We have a God who cannot lie. He cannot change his mind. His mind about his prophetic word for you in 2022 will he never change. No sorcery can change it. No bribery can change it. And by the way, when I say seven, shout at the top of your voice. If you have your mask there, put it there, shout with it. But listen. That is the time when some of you are going to experience miracles. You have a swelling in your body, it will go. I went to Tororo with my wife one time for a meeting there. Some people had a swelling here. The swelling just disappeared and there was no scar. The doctor has already told you facts. Pastor Ben was talking about fear. 
Omusuma Benny and I get up here into Kakafu or Wawarim, but we can go to changes facts. Umani, you know, we have a sickness that we cannot heal. Into Mani, you know what the times are quaint. The truth of God is able to change facts. Ama Zimaga Katondagas or what to say, we can give it too. The word will change the facts. It's Yamichi Yak too, maybe we can give it too. Praise God. Come on, Ibaz. Two. Biri. Something is happening. One way to call it one. God is giving someone a second chance. If you are there and you have not been repentant, God is giving you a second chance. He's a merciful God. He's a merciful God. Let me tell you, Moses demanded, you can he was really a friend of God. He said, God, I want to see you. Musa ya sawa ya ni mkwanu waka taunda mazima dana na mga ya nti njaga la kulaba. He told Moses, he said, you cannot see my face and live. Na agama Musa, ntoso wala kulaba buenyi wangi no wamu la mu. But I'm going na inge inda to pass before you and declare my name. Okuita maso go na ngirire rinyari angi. But I will remove you na ina kujao with my hand no mkwanu wangi. And I do in a cliff. I, I, I've split the rock. I will hide you in that place where I've split. You know that rock appeared in the desert there. You know that rock appeared in the desert there. You know that rock appeared in the desert there. You know that rock appeared in the desert there. You know who that rock is? Jesus. Yes. He said. I'm going to open a rock and hide you there. But I will declare my goodness. I will declare the fact that I'm merciful. And I'm forgiving. So God is telling you that if you have to repent, repent. Lift up your hands, everybody. If you have not forgiven anybody, forgive that person. You cannot enter with the past. If you have not forgiven anybody, forgive that to remain unforgiving means you are still at the time when offense occurred. You are in the past. You cannot have the future when you are looking back. You cannot have the future Let go, let go, let go, let go. Some people care a lot. They care a lot about what people say. Don't care about what people say. Even when it is not true. But if it's true, Deborah, why don't you? There because you need God now. Devora tula wali kuvanga katueta gakatonda nyama. Lift up your hands also. Mikono jana wajimani ke wagulu. Three. Satu. The number three is a completion. Satu echi kirira okutu kirizwa kumaliza. Satu echi kirira obusat. Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Chitafu mwana no moyo mtukuvu. God is completing some work that he began in your life. Whatever he starts, he completes it. Don't Today, there are things that you have not been able to understand, but today you will understand them. Waliwe mtu biota sawote kutegera mukzoka na yoro waniro jana kutani koko bitegera. Four. Nya. The four winds, the four compass direction. The earth, the number for the earth. Nya echi kirirensi. Not east, west, south. Vanywa, vanywa mamu kama seringita. Sometimes the enemy scatters what belongs to you to the four winds. When people put a curse, a spell, 
what belongs to you to the four winds. But I'm telling you now. And I want to declare that whatever good things that the enemy had scattered to the four winds from your life they are coming back to you now because they are coming back they are coming back five is the number for grace that is why when the bible says that when he ascended on I Yes, so much my blessing. Captive. The time for you to enjoy the gifting of God has come. The time for captivity to be made captive has come. The time for grace, that is help that comes from God to manifest in your life has come. The time the for you to you see fruit in your labor has come. The time for you to see fruit in your labor has come. Lift up your hearts, everybody. In the spirit dream, God is doing something about your work, your labor. Oh my God. Someone you are here and a curse has been placed upon your work. That curse is breaking. In the name of Jesus. That curse is breaking. Whatever you have been doing will prosper. That spell is broken. Someone got money from you and used it on a Saturday. I what belongs to you. To tie your life. That curse is broken. That spell is broken. Grace. 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 Six. Mukaga. Is the number for man. I don't know what sickness is in your body. But God is removing it right now. God is removing that sickness. You cannot die by the hand of Satan. You cannot die by that sickness. The power of death is broken from your life. You have been translated from the kingdom of Satan. The kingdom of darkness. The kingdom where death reigns. The kingdom of life. The kingdom of life. The kingdom of his dear son Jesus. Let the spell of death break from your life. Brown pronouncement were made at the grave against you. I break the power of the spirit of death from over your life. I break the power of the spirit of death from over your life. I break the power of death from over your life. You keep seeing dead relatives and dead friends. I break the power of death from over your life. In your dreams you keep seeing dead people. I break the power of death right now I break the power of death I command the spirit of death to come out to come out to come out whatever is wicked in your life must go I break the power of death and when I mention the, the last cow and I tell you to shout, shout. Because whatever wrong thing has been hanging on you the overthrow will take place those who have been blocked by the enemy from conceiving because you are tired of conceiving get ready I 
remember the last number is the number for perfection but at a higher level zukira e namba esimba yo ya kutukirizibwa na yate kudani ya wagulu thank you jesus we mani nyo yesu you are shouting a shout of victory ulekano kulekano ko muwanguzi and you are the word say the king is among you and what he said that I will be with you to the end of the age. You are shouting as a king. Because you have been called as a priest and as a king. There's someone chained. Someone is going to be healed of diabetes. Someone is going to be healed of diabetes. You will be delivered to high blood pressure. Yes. I see it in the spirit. Some people are going to come out very light. Like every and as we shout the principalities and the powers over Kampala, over Lusira that food on our way will come down the principalities over Uganda will come down the principalities over Uganda will come down like others have come down the gods of Egypt were judged that night whatever God is acting in your life shall face a judgment the principalities over Uganda will come down the principalities over Uganda will come down the principalities over Uganda will come down God told someone, said, at the clap of my hand, there shall be no more. Just like that. Uh, this is that. That's how serious it is. Do you know how serious it is? When I mentioned the last number, shout at the top of your voice. Then you will be delivered to the top of your voice. Those who have masks put it on. But let me tell you, COVID will not get you. It could not get you before, it cannot get you now. Save It works. It works. Chikola. Do for two minutes. I want you to dance. Why? Because the word works. Apostle Kelly, it works. The word works. The word works. 2022 is the year for God's judgment against his enemies. Enemies, the chief one being the devil, and his agents are called enemies. And not only that, your promotion, your revival, has come in the name of Jesus. Ishigamba chikose. Hey! 
The song says, Chains are breaking for my sake. Mountains are moving for your sake. Walls are falling for your sake. Everything is working for your sake. I will overturn and overturn and overturn and it shall be no more. Listen, whatever has disturbed you for a long time shall be no more. For a long time, I want to declare to you as you go home today, you will sleep like you have never slept. Listen. 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 
Jesus. You will see dominion in your life. You will see dominion. Your case is settled. Whoever said you are not going to be a married woman, they have got it wrong. You will see dominion in your life. In your case, they have got it wrong. Musonga yobaji funa muchamu. You are going properly to marry and to wed. Ogenda kufumbi wabu wanti bakuwe mbaga. Let me tell you. Kamba buli de. There are people. Wali wabantu. Because they are confident in the powers they trust in. Banga bavumu mbiyo ya itamu They said that one I've locked her marriage Awaga manti oyo mkazo mfumbo wenda usiba Others say I've locked their womb Awaga nebo kena nti olubutolo yenda usiba But I want to tell you Ninja gala kuburi ni That the powers that had locked your marriage Emiyo ye jandi jasibo mfumbo wu Has been overthrown This one is God Amen Amen Omsango has been passed. Gusa ni dwa, gusi dwa. Listen. Wuli risa. Poverty is a spirit. Uwa vumoyo. That causes you to see only poverty. Ogukulete no kulawa bwa vuwaka. You don't see opportunities. Tola mayo biyaga ni msa jona. That makes you see only problems. You don't see solutions. But let me tell you. The spirit of poverty in your life has been judged. And the curse of poverty is broken from your life. Flavia, come here. Where's Flavia? Come. Flavia, Django, and Oliwa. You see this woman here? I don't know how many times. During prayer, she has run with the sacrifice here. You stand there. She has run with the sacrifice here. For nothing but for business. She didn't even have the bakery business. She but she came, she told me she wanted it. And I kept prophesying actually over life that she's going to be a wealthy woman. She was just an ordinary housewife here. But she loved the altar of prayer. And she loved the wife. And you had a testimony today. God has put multiple businesses in there. I want to tell you, Flavia. The prophetic word will take place in your life. Come back in your life. God has decided to judge your enemies. You are lifting us come. In your job arena, you will see a lifting. In the business arena, you will see a lifting. You will turn right, you will see a lifting. You turn left, you will be lifted. You turn backward, you will be lifted. You look forward, you will be lifted. Wherever you turn, the word will work for you. Wherever you go, the work will work. The word will work. 
walls that have stopped you from going forward They are broken in the name of Jesus. Demonic powers that refuse you to enter your marriage, they are changed. From today, you will begin living in the city. From today, you will begin living in the city. Some of you, you have come to Kampala city. But you ended with your body in Kampala. But you were locked outside Kampala. You are experiencing the village life in Kampala. But from today, I want to declare to you that the powers who were doing that in your life have been overthrown. Amen. Amen. the blessing that is in this city. Listen. Some of you, you keep dreaming so much of the village. Can I see you, and if you always dream of the village all the time? From today, the powers that want to reduce you to the village, they have been overthrown in the village. Next time when you are going to the village, ask the word of God says that things are not going to remain the same. In fact, what will happen? You will take the city into the village. And the village cannot follow you in the city. The village. So what I'm going to the village. And the forces that have been keeping you struggling. 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 They have held good things from you. God has overturned them. They are overturned and overturned and overturned. Receive what belongs to you in the mighty name of God. Receive your money back. Receive your peace. Receive your favor back. Whatever good thing God has for you, receive it. Receive it. Don't let the power of the world come the ones who have been exalted. You know, sometimes you, you hear demons talking. Arrogantly. They even sometimes when I'm casting demons, they say no. We have locked her and, and nobody can release her. She was given to us. But let me tell you, the king is in our midst. <laughs> I'm here to tell you that in the name of Jesus, the one who does not lie, the one who does not promise and fail to deliver, the one who said he'll be with you to the very head, in this name, I declare your freedom. I declare your promotion. I declare your lifting. In this day, whatever was taken 
get away from you. I will I will you back in your heart. Say in the name of Jesus. I take back what belongs to me. Now mention that. Mention what we are taking back. Tandika oyatule. Tandika oyatule vio. Mention it. Yatwa limo. Yatula. Mention it. On Sunday, we shall still receive some other testimony. If you have, you see Pastor Ken. Testimony for 2021. What God has done to you according to your prophetic word. So Sunday morning, we have two services. Two services. Two services. Two services. Two services. Two services. So let's keep time. I want to bless you because I want to dismiss you because so that you can And uh, you need to go with this prophetic word sticker. How much is it? How much is it, Fred? Fred, come make Two thousand shillings. Uganda. Stick it on your car, on your fridge door, bedroom door, mirror. Two thousand shillings. Each one of you must go with this prophetic word sticker. If you don't have money now, you make sure that on Sunday you come and take it. Prophetic word sticker. Because on Sunday we have a service. Just make sure that you are there. Make sure that you get this prophetic word sticker. So every day say, Lord, thank you for judging my enemies. Thank you for overthrowing them. There we will see your promotion. In in my finances, in my business, in my marriage, in the lives of my children, your promotion in the lives of my, 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 my boys, my sons, my daughters. It works. It works. 
Revival, God is going to improve your life. It's revival. He wants to bring revival in your life. And friends should see me shortly. After a year. There's someone there who wants it. Asha, there's someone there. Uh -huh. As everyone got, I want to pray for you. And the There's a sticker. When you remove the sticker, you can stick it. Let's pray. Lift up your Father, as your people go, I bless them. Let the blessing of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob rest upon them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Touch their lives and totally change their lives. Turn them into testimonies. Let the word work for them. Let the word work for our ministry. We thank you, we trust you, we give you glory, give you honor. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Give the Lord a mighty hand of praise. We shall have a prayer program for the new year. And we want to build very strong prayer altars. And we will let you know about the, the program so that you become a part of it. Together, let's say the grace and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the, God and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us all now and forevermore. Amen. Amen.